Hello guys. Hi everyone. Welcome back. As part of the today's session, I just want to give you a brief overview on this karate configuration file. So what exactly this configuration file does and why are we using this karate configuration file? So the point here is, if you clearly observe this file, this is a JavaScript functions inside that. And based on the environment, the data is being updated. So here is the point. So whenever you want to retrieve a specific information based on your environment that you are working. So it means I have my app ID, app secrets, base URL and another base URL. These are the parameters are there basically. And these parameters will change with respect to the environment. In the runtime, I will simply pass on the environment so that automatically all the values associated for this thing should be retrieved by my karate. In such situations, we are going to use this karate configuration file. And this karate configuration file should be placed inside a class path. The class path means it will consider as an SRC test Java or a SRC test resources. For now, what I am going to do right now means Okay, so let me copy the name as a karate config.js. Go to the project, right click on a SRC test Java new file. Okay, new file. And in this particular file, I'm just defining as a karate config.js. If you go back to this particular function, so here are the logic that is defined inside it. It's a function. This is the function starting and this is what the function ending is. And here we have a defined an environmental variable and we are just defining that. And now if you observe, we are defining a config variable for which we are defining some variables inside that for which Based on the environment, whatever we are getting, we are passing on these values to that particular variables. And at the end, we are returning this config. So instead of writing this whole chunk, I'm just copying this var config, this small chunk. So this complete configuration, I'm going to show you in a two parts. This is the first example. And the second example would be an environment specific. So here I just want to go with a without an environment specific one. So I have a con, con copied this particular line of code and inside this function. So let me copy the function first. And inside the function, I'm just defining this variable. And at the end, you need to return this config. Copy the return config. Okay, that's fine. I have defined it. And I don't want these many parameters, guys. I just need only one parameter, which is app base URL. Okay, I just want to specify my app base URL. And in the runtime, I want to check it out whether this base URL is being used in my program or not. So I'm opening one of my existing feature files here. And app base URL, at we need to pass on a value. And this variable, we need to call on there. So here, this is what uh, the get example, whatever we have. Where is this? Yes, this is what the get example is. Copy this get example, place it again, and demo runner Surendra Jagannatham. I have a given a unique tag name for that, and the response code is a 200. This is what the URL is. Instead of defining this URL here, I'm defining this URL value in a configuration file. And this is the name that I have given. Let me give that name directly. So given URL is equal to app base URL, that's fine. Let me copy this tag name, go to our existing runner class and place this tag name and try to run that information. So if you clearly observe what we have done right now is we have defined that information in a karate configuration file and we are using this demo runner file. And if you see the console, what it got executed. Okay, let us see the console here. And I can see the response from this particular chunk. 
Okay, I can see the response from this particular chunk. It got executed, that's fine. So what I'm going to do right now means, let me change my status code to 400 and let me try to rerun this scenario once again and check out what it is being printed down to the console. So here it's trying to execute the information and it got a fail with the respect to, I know the reason behind the failure is with the respect to our error code itself, whatever we have a passed. So to cross check, what I'm going to do right now means, let me refresh my, okay, let me refresh my targets. And I just wanna open the reports, whatever we have uh, executed right now. So open with a system editor. This is the default report. So here, given app a base URL, and when the get method is, see here in the get, the URL is being substituted. So here in a situation, the URL is being substituted, but in the real world, what it will happen means, sometimes the URL, it may not read the configuration file. So in such situations, what we need to do means, explicitly we need to specify the configuration karate configuration file location okay let me go back to my uh, this one here and if you scroll down basically there is a, some more information about this one and you can find much more details that we just need to pass on. If at all you are unable to identify this particular location, in such situations, you need to pass on the directory where in which this configuration file is being stored. Okay, so the directory where exactly this configuration got a stored, you know, the karate config dot directory, you need to pass on as an input to your work runner class. So for this, what I'm going to do now. So if this is executing successfully for you, then you no need to go for another customized class. If with this runner, your value, whatever you have a specified in a config file is not substituting in your feature, in such scenarios, you need to create a new JUnit runner here where in which in the test I'm specifying a system dot a set property karate config dot a directory I'm giving the directory path here and if you observe guys I have a defined this a karate config within my class path itself hence I no need to specify this one in such situations, whenever you are creating a file and this file got created in some other location. So in the runner class, you can specify using a system property what exactly your directory for this one is. So you can specify d karate config dot a directory where in which we are just specifying the karate configuration file location. And whatever the runner tag name is there, I'm just copying the tag name and I'm just specifying the tag name. Here we are using some results class and we are creating an object to that. And in upcoming sessions, we are going to discuss more about this runner, okay? And these results as well. For the time being, just consider this as a runner and I'm just executing my test script. Of course, the same way how it executed earlier, it will be executing now as well. And of course, it will be failed as of now. With that a note, what we have done is, we have a defined a karate configuration file where in which we have a defined a small function, where in which we have a specified the URL. And in the scenario, we are just using the URL and we are executing our test script. So this is the way how exactly we can configure the karate config file. And in the upcoming sessions, we are going to see how exactly we can define the environment specific details and how you need to pass on the environment in the runner class also we are going to study in the next session, guys. Thank you.